Hey guys, I'm going to be showing you how to add a box blur in Photoshop. Now the very first thing you have to do is duplicate your image. So just in case if you ever make a mistake, you won't have the original image ruined. Now the first thing, so to duplicate the image, all you have to do is two things. After you select your image in the layers panel, you can press Ctrl J. That duplicates the image. Or you can just right click. On, to, on your image that you want to duplicate, go all the way up until you find duplicate layer. And then after you see this box right here, you can just press OK. After you duplicated your layer, there's many ways you can blur the certain area that you want to blur. You can either use the quick selection tool, pen tool, if you want to be precise. Another way you can do it is with the lasso tool. Do I want to do it? I'm just going to do with the quick section tool just so you just so we can go to the main point on how to add a blur. So I'm just going to go right here. I would just do like the mountain a bit, maybe like a bit on the trees a bit. We'll see how it goes. Uh, and then just take it out right here maybe. Okay, after you made a selection, the next thing you have to do is add a layer mask onto the onto the image. To do that, all you're going to have to do is just go to your layers panel, go all the way down until you see this little image that looks like a camera. If you go over it, it says add a layer mask. Click on it, and that's how you add the layer. Now, now what you have to do is first make sure you have your image selected instead of the layer mask. What I mean by this, if you go to your layers panel, you see these two right here. And you see these like four little lines surrounding the image. That means the layer mask is selected, but not the actual image itself. To do that, just go to the image on the left right here, on the, on the same layer image that you're planning to have the blur on, and click on it. And then you see this four little lines that was, that's surrounding the corners. It's now onto the image itself. Now that means the image is selected and not the layer mask. Now what you're going to have to do is go to the top left until you see the filter button, click on it, and then just go all the way down until you see the blur section. And just go to the right until you see box blur. Click on it, and then you get this. This will help you on how much you want to add the blur, and you see what the blur would do. If I go like to the left, it'll be less. If I add some more to the right, then as you see, it'll be like, it'll get crazy and a lot. It's like very blurred right here. For now, I'm going to keep my, let's say, to like a, to like a 9, just so you understand what the blur does. You can have it however you want, depending on, on your preference or whatever you're doing. Press OK. And that's how you add the blur. Now, let's say you made a little mistake. As you see, let's say like the trees. I don't like the trees like this. So this time, remember whenever I said about selecting the layer mask for the image on the layers panel? This time you're going to want to select your layer mask on the same image that you used to blur on. Click on it and then make sure your brush tool and then make sure whenever, whenever you use the brush tool, make sure you're not adding blur. Like as you see right here, if you make that mistake, just go to the left side of the tools, go all the way down to see the two, the two colors right here, the colors painting. Then you see this little two arrows connected. Click on it, and that'll switch the primary color that you're using. I'm using the black color. This will help me take out the blur, as you see right here. The, there was blur before, and if I use the white, it'll add the blur. So be careful on that. Now let's say you don't like this edge right here at all, and it's just like very annoying, as you see, it's like just very sharp. So what you do is just go to your layer mask that you've made. You see right here on your layers panel. Double click it. You get this whole new section right here. Now you don't need to worry about the other things right now. The primary thing that you're gonna need to find is the feathering. As you see right here. This will help you soften the edge so it's not like super sharp. It makes it kind of like soft and blurred. Now if you want to see, now if you don't want to like this, let's just say you have like some sort of like different screen, like view mode, 
go to all the way to the top instead, to the top right in the properties. You see view mode and then say like view. You see this box right here? Click on this. Now you can just click on on layer. That'll be like, as you see right here, it'll be on the layer. You see the whole picture. Now you can start adding the feathers. You see what it does. For me, I will just put it for my picture. If you put all the way, then as you see, it's like pretty much not there. I'll put mine like right here, I guess. Right here, just so I'm not gonna do like to go for there, just so you understand what the what it does. And then let's just say I do like right here, press OK. And I see the blur has changed. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time.